oftentimes when we think technology we think IBM we think Apple we think stuff beyond the confines of Uganda there's so many innovators in this country that are making it big well they might be small today but their ideas are big or at least have the potential of making it big take a look at this Possibilities of fire outbreaks are a reality we are contending with every day. From bush wildfires to properties catching fire, this menace is the reason why fire insurance policies or whole fire police departments exist. But before you can think of insurance and police, ICT seems to offer good answers on how to deal with this problem. A team of university students from Kabale University have come up with the solution. That is the smart fire alarm system, which they designed with special features to deal with the fire outbreaks. Hello, my name is Buenja Duncan. I'm a student at Kabale University, offering a bachelor's in electrical engineering in my third year. We have a number of systems we are doing here. Uh, to begin with, we have a fire alarm system, a smart fire alarm system. Uh, the name is unique because it's smart, not like the usual ones we have on market. Why you just find that they, have, they activate sprinklers and just turn on sirens to make noise. Buenje explains how the smart fire alarm system works. Uh, the way our system works is that it has sensors which sense either a gas leakage or any kind of smoke at a particular level. When the, when the smoke is sensed in the building or a school or a dormitory, it will be communicating with a, the, the computer system which, which will in turn uh, trigger on the alarms once it realizes that actually the, the, the fire is a lot, the smoke is much. And also, beside that, it has a unique feature which enables sending of text messages and location to the director of the school and the fire brigade. We literally set their numbers, like if a customer asks for that purchase system, we set numbers which they want to, to, to have the messages sent to. So that even if there is no one at the premises, you can know that there is a fire at that particular point. And even the fire brigade who do not know that particular school can see through the message and see the location and just come and put out the fire. Unlike the other fire alarms, smart fire alarm was crafted with technology beyond just detecting smoke. Assume there is a gas leakage in a building. It can be a serious risk because once there is any uh, slight spark, there will be an explosion. But yet you cannot see this gas, unlike smoke. But this fire alarm, the smart fire alarm can be able to detect the gas leakage and alert you before the fire actually happens. This idea was inspired by the need to rain in the immense cost that fires exert to victims. Uh, the idea of this smart fire alarm uh, came from the recent fire outbreaks that we have been having in the country. Many schools got burnt and there was usually no explanation of why, when uh, and at what time maybe the fire started. But actually with the system here, you can, because uh, the, the text message comes with the time, you can know the exact time when the fire was detected. Buenje and his team have plans of implementing their project in different schools and the force behind their efforts is none other than belief. We are trying to make sure that uh, after this we implement this project in, in several schools so that we solve the problem instead of rushing to, to outside markets to buy these alarms we can actually design our own alarms. I know we can, just that uh, there is still a lack of belief in our society that their own people can do much better things than what the European market and the Chinese and American market has to offer. The system works very well and can be deployed anywhere. First of all, the, the fact that the system has been tested and it works well, even the messaging part, is a very great achievement because we are certain that if we deploy it, it will be in working very well and we will be able to combat the fire. Uh, the fire hazards in schools.
this homegrown technology is to these young men that the country can do more with its local innovators for development. So my call is that we should actually focus on solving problems, develop our own technologies and embrace them as a country so that we also utilize our own labor, the knowledge we get in class. And I think by doing that, the country will develop in a much faster way. We always look beyond borders of Uganda for good technology ideas. This proves that we may have more at home than what we might think.